You're listening to the Arts Report on YouTube. Imaginary Cities, a Winnipeg-based group featuring Marty Sarbit and Rusty Matthias, has very quickly gone from a couple of jamming musicians, slowly working toward a record for fun, without even a band name, to being a 2011 Polaris Prize-nominated band, alongside groups like Arcade Fire and Timber Timbre. How did it happen? I spoke to Marty from Imaginary Cities about the effect of getting a Polaris nomination, about their music video for Ride This Out, directed by fellow musician Jeremy Fisher, but first, we talked about the catalyst that sped up the musical equation that is Imaginary Cities. Here's Marty. We, Rusty and I had been recording uh, the album for about a year or so, um, and he was busy with other bands, and it was just whenever we had time, we got together and recorded the album, and it was just for fun. There was no uh, pressure or anything like that. Mm-hmm. So, um, and we didn't have a name or anything, but then uh, our manager, who was not our manager at the time, he was just, he's the manager of The Weaker Then, mm-hmm. and Rusty plays with The Weaker Then as like their extra guy. Mm-hmm. Um, he heard our stuff and said he wanted to help us out, and he kind of lit the fire under our butts. And uh, and basically, we had to fi- we had to come up with a name right away, and um, we had to put a band together. And that's when things kind of started going. Uh, and Steve Steve has been amazing at like getting us. Uh, connected with a good booking agent, mm-hmm. and, and then so we started getting good shows out of that. So he was a big so. catalyst, yeah. Yeah, oh yeah, for sure. It still is for pretty much everything. <laughs> and the Polaris, um, has that had a, a, just an instant effect? Um, how, how has that been? Oh, it's definitely, well, it's been awesome. And it, it's gotten us some really good exposure mm-hmm. uh, to people who may not have ever heard of us before because I mean we're we're a really new band so we're still at the stage of trying to get our name out there and um, uh, yeah no it was amazing I mean just to be uh, a new band with like that was my first album I've ever I've ever made so to have that acknowledged as on the long list of the Polaris was I mean, it was pretty huge. I mean, and, and where do you where do you go from here now? It's like <laughs> it's almost too easy. You know, you come out with an album, and boom, it's already it's already this big. What? Downhill from there. <laughs> <laughs> I sure hope not. Yeah, but exactly. uh, I mean, it sure it definitely feels like a huge highlight, and uh, and it's it's been amazing. Like it's it's making us want to work harder and. Um, do more mm-hmm. with what we've got. So, like Rusty and I have been working on more songs for the next album, and we're going to be really busy in the fall. So, yeah, so you're you're already working on your next album. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, tell me about the, the the video that's directed by Jeremy Fisher. How did that come about? Mm-hmm. Uh, well, he's on the same label as us, uh, Hidden Pony, and uh, he. I mean, he makes really awesome videos, and he offered. To, to do it and, and we thought that would be a great idea because I really I mean I remember his cigarette uh, music video uh, that he made on his own and, and love it. I love it so I'm a fan <laughs> of not only his videos but his music as well so yeah no he he spent a lot of time on that I think he actually got carpal tunnel and had to stop <laughs> for a bit oh no, did he so <laughs> Well, that's great. Well, we're, we're looking forward to seeing you in Vancouver. Um, is there anything else you, you, you'd want to say to uh, to your, your burgeoning Vancouver fan base? <laughs> um, just really looking forward to it. We've got lots going on, and, and uh, just hope people come out. <laughs> Perfect. Well, thanks so much. Thank you. Don't miss the Arts Report on CITR Radio in Vancouver, 101.9 FM. That's Wednesdays at 5 p.m. We're also streaming online at CITR.ca every Wednesday at 5. And uh, don't miss our podcast, which you can find, yep, at CITR.ca.